Hey, hello everybody. And today I decided to take a look into my uh, Super Audio CD player, DVD recorder. DVD player actually, uh, Sony 9100. So what I mentioned, I don't like how the sound uh, goes through the audio board here. Um, it's not so clear on the highs as my uh, DC from the my amp do the work. Plus it's a little bit dry. So I will be looking to see if I'd like to replace capacitors on this board. Here you may see plenty of orange cups but those, even if those are pretty similar to the ones installed into the Nakamichi decks, those are like from the 2000s and they still should be good. What I will be looking into are these like uh, electrolytic capacitors. Here are these guys and these guys I will see and check with schematics uh, if I would be able to find it, which one sits on the sound pass, see the values and try to replace them. So as you may see, they are not a big deal to get to this board, but still would need to remove the video board from here to have a free access to the old screws on the lower board. Let me do that and let's see how it will perform. And here you see a digital processor board, which works with uh, and drive here and outputs video signal to this board and audio signal here to this board. Okay, let me pull out the board and let's see what values there and what we can do. See you soon. Hey guys, and here I'm completely recapping. While I was recapping, I learned schematics a little bit. So this is pretty interesting design. So actually we need to recap only these eight guys. Okay, those sit on the audio pass. These four I replaced it and later learned, like I was looking into schematics, those are to stabilize voltage on the DAC chips. Okay, so it's reference voltage and they just use this series of capacitors. Um, what else? These four are registers when a CPU sends a sequential signal and they are, have a parallel outputs. So it's pretty interesting. And here is the four uh, DC chips. Uh, in this case, this is uh, DSD and DC chips. So they decode this D, and this means that like when this player plays uh, a PCM files, it still will convert them to this D, and they will sound much better. I hope with this upgrade, uh, it will now sound clear. I will let you know results because I have a reference to compare. So my power amplifier has DC chip, which is. Uh, very good, I believe it's ESS chip, one of the latest generations. And it sounds really, really good. So this like uh, CD player, it was not pleasant to listen comparing to the sound which has been produced by those chip. Okay, so now I will assemble everything back. You see the other board, still waiting video board here. This board don't have uh, any audio capacitor, so as you may suspect, just pure uh, SMD capacitors to process video signal. What else? Uh, I was not very careful, so when I was recapping, I broke, when I was cutting legs, I broke one of the resistors here. So luckily I have a full set, I was able to replace. The only thing like that this resistor is a little bit bigger but it should work exactly the same way. Uh, it was pretty tough to unsolder capacitors. I had to heat my soldering iron pretty well uh, to melt the solder, which has been put there. It was really tough solder. Believe me, I'm like almost exhausted. See, I'm like, if I look onto the legs, 
I still also sold or left on them. Like uh, it was like not an easy process. Um, okay, let's see how it will perform now. Or oh, I will trash it. <laughs> Who, knows? Who knows? See you soon. Hey guys, uh, here is the uh, final part for this upgrade. As you may see, CD player works pretty well. Uh, I was listening, comparing uh, output from this, this DVD player, actually, uh, from this ES Sony, uh, comparing to the output from the dock install it into my amplifier hotel, and compare it to the dock install it into Tascam. Uh, and Tascam has like RCI output and XLR, and I was able to compare XLR. And as you remember, XLR connected to my equalizer and to the spectrum analyzer. Um, so, so it's, uh upgrade is successful. Uh, high frequencies gets into output now. There was like missing high frequencies on the output. This was the first issue I mentioned as soon as I received it. Uh, second, uh, I believe there is now a lower bus. So capacitors, good capacitors, does a pretty good job uh, for the sound. Uh, now, I mentioned that Sony uh, DC uh, has elevated mid-range comparing to both Tascam and uh, Rattel. Those are more neutral. I can retell, I believe Evan has a little bit lower mid-range uh, comparing to both of them. And uh, if uh, to listen, uh, I was listening like five different discs now with different styles of music, different frequency range. Uh, dynamics, I very much like uh, Rattel. So it's, it's not like, ESS TSC is just beautiful. It's true high end and sound is, is there. It's open, it's crazy high resolution on the sound. You may listen and hear so teeny details that it's, it's just very good. Uh, Sony, uh, very, very nice sound now. Uh, not a match to Rattel. So Rattel is like unbeatable, really. Um, but uh, the sonic pattern on Sony is very good because like, uh, I can hear it on lower levels uh, because uh, mid-range is more uh, clear, like better pronounced. Like. And uh, comparing to Tascam, Tascam is, is very, very flat and neutral. Like, you know, like it's, it's, it's so boring and precise or like precise that it's, it's became boring. Really, it's it's professional recorder. It records and plays really, really well. Uh, but listening to the RCI output from of this recorder is very boring. I, I'm listening to XLR. XLR sounds much better, specifically when now I have equalizer and can adjust like, uh, and it's, it's does it work. So, Thank you for this, uh, for your time, for listening uh, to everything I hear here. I would not be playing music in this video because uh, Google copyrights, so they will just cut everything or like make me struggle with them. So sorry for that. I know that you like to listen music on my channel but I probably will do a separate video so you would be able to hear yourself. Thank you and good night.